Are you ready for your next competitor, Calgary? We can do better than that. You ready for your next competitor? There we go. Please welcome to the stage a very funny, the hilarious Mark DeBonis. All right, uh, what's going on, guys? Nice. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Just gonna get into this here. Don't wanna waste any more time. I think uh, the best thing about being a professional scuba diver, now that you've asked, is uh, when you're not working, you must be under like no pressure. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> That's a dumb joke. That's a stupid joke. <laughs> But it's deep. It is it's deep. <laughs> that is stupid. I know. I love talking about stupid shit, though. You know, like I, I'm going to the whole time. It's hard though because you guys have expectations. You know, like the second you knew you were coming to a comedy show, you're like, "Look, I'm funny. These comedians better be hilarious." Okay, like, because the thing is, I don't have another act. Like, I'm gonna really, like, I don't know. Like, have you guys, have you guys ever seen any uh, low spider webs? <laughs> Just a spider web a couple inches off the ground in between a couple blades of grass. <laughs> She's like, what are you trying to catch? There you go. The call? <laughs> you know what? That phone could not have rang at a better time, so thank you. <laughs> that was my guardian angel being like, Mark, stop this joke right now. <laughs> Clearly, you guys don't have low spider webs in Calgary, all right? <laughs> I don't know. I am aware of how, you know, the, the spider joke hit without the phone. I know how this is going to go. I'm aware of it, okay? I have been told that my stand-up is a little bit like jazz, where you watch it and you're like, I have no clue what the hell's happening right now. <laughs> but it's kind of relaxing, you know? So uh, sit back and enjoy. Because a lot of questions like, how do we know that peanuts aren't evolving? Like, everybody thinks kids are getting weaker. Maybe peanuts are getting stronger, okay? <laughs> the question is why? Why are peanuts trying to take over? Things aren't going that bad, though. I'm actually right now working on pitching a show to A&E. It's where crackheads renovate houses. <laughs> Addicts and Addicts is... Uh, is <laughs> so dumb. I take the bus, as you can tell with these jokes. These are not car jokes. I take the bus. You can't talk about spider webs and think you're going to get keys to anything. I just take the bus. And like, you don't need to take the bus to know if there's a bus stop. Okay? It's a pole, a couple different colors, picture of a bus. Sometimes it even says bus. Okay? Like, we get it. But what you may not know is you can't get on the bus if you're not standing at a bus stop, okay? You're not a human being according to public transportation if you're not standing at one of their checkpoints. I was on the bus once, it was packed. Okay, we, we get to a red light, we're all standing like shoulder to shoulder. Some older lady starts banging on the door mid-stop, okay? Everyone's like looking around trying to figure out what to do. The bus driver gets on the mic and he's like, nobody look at her. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't see her, she's not real, you know? Light turned green, we left her in the dust, guys. Street rules. I was walking down the street, and I hear this guy, and he's just like, Josh! 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 And like, my name's not Josh, right? So I had no reason to stop. So I kept walking, and he's just like, Josh! Grabs my shoulder, spins me around, He's like, Joshua. I'm like, I'm not Josh, man. Like, if I was Josh, why wouldn't I have answered you? And he's like, oh, that's just what Josh does. <laughs> I'm like, look, Josh doesn't like you, okay? Sort of burst your bubble right now. <laughs> and I'm at the point in my life where I can't talk to people anymore who wear Band-Aids. <laughs> you guys ever talk to someone wearing a Band-Aid? The whole time you talk to them, in your mind, you're like, that thing better not fucking touch me. You know, like, 
You don't even care about the conversation anymore. You're just dodging this sponge of bacteria on their hand. I was talking to this one guy, he had a Band-Aid on. We were talking for like 10, 15 minutes. I looked down and the Band-Aid's gone. I'm like, where the hell's the Band-Aid, you know? Better not be on me, because if this is, I'm gonna puke. All right, I can't deal with this. I do have a phobia of Band-Aids. <laughs> it's actually tied together with my hatred of bowling. So you guys will to get a combo story, so buckle up. <laughs> Look, it's not that I hate bowling, okay? Like, it's just, it blows my mind that people still bowl in this day and age. Because everybody's like, oh man, I need hand sanitizer. And like, hand sanitizer for my hand sanitizer bottle. Oh, what do you want to do tonight? Let's go bowling. The most disgusting thing in the world, okay? Forget about the shoes. We as a people have accepted bowling shoes, all right? Because we all know they have that magic spray that when they spray it in the shoe, it burns the whole inner soul out and rebuilds a new one, okay? Like, we're not idiots. But do you think for a second somebody's walking down the aisle with Lysol and a beaker cleaner cleaning the bowling ball finger holes? No. And bowling is 100% finger foods. You can't not not eat finger foods in a bowling alley. When I was a kid, I went bowling, pulled my hand out, and a Band-Aid was on my finger. Like, <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. My name's Mark the Bonus. Have a nice night. Give it up for Ben. Mark the Bonus, ladies and gentlemen.